Rush. We are in Baker, California, kind of the midway point between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. And that right there is the world's tallest thermometer. 134 feet. 134 feet tall to commemorate that high temperature in Death Valley in 1913. Coming up next, we'll have the very interesting story of this large piece of weather forecasting equipment and what it means to the folks in this small town. <laughs> Wow, that looks very interesting on so many levels. All right, Dave, looking forward to it. Well, if you've ever taken a long road trip, you likely have seen some interesting odd things along the side of the highway, maybe even stopping to snap that picture of the largest ball of twine. Actually, no, La Rosa has before. <laughs> twine? Uh, well, <laughs> you got to keep the kids occupied. Well, we recently sent our own Dave Malkoff out west to cover some stories, and you won't believe what Dave found just outside the California desert. Not far from the hottest place on Earth. In fact, the southern end of Death Valley is only about 30 minutes away. The winter sun is shining on an icon of the Mojave Desert. It's supposed to be the world's highest thermometer. <laughs> One of those odd things that you drive by, like the world's biggest ball of yarn. This is an electrical... Sure, you can get a euro from the Mad Greek or beef jerky from a space alien here in Baker, California, but the real attraction? It seems broken. <laughs> <laughs> has fallen into disrepair. Well, I'm Lee Hayes. I'm the general manager for the town of Baker. In Baker, the general manager is kind of like the mayor. It hasn't worked properly in probably at least four years. It had lighting that went all the way up the sides of it. Today, the gift shop is closed. Someone even swiped the plaque here. But the story of the world's tallest thermometer goes back to 1991 when the family who owned the restaurant next door put it up. My parents came from Chicago and we established here. Diana Rowe was a little girl back then. She worked at the restaurant and knows exactly why the thermometer is 134 feet. 134 feet tall to commemorate that high temperature in Death Valley in 1913. The digital readout blocks that drivers could once see for 10 miles are now dark, but that could all change this year. I think it's great. Surviving members of the family who built the thing in the first place want to repossess it from the current owner and install solar panels and LED bulbs to bring this beacon of the desert back to life. And we hope to make it green and energy efficient. But Lee Hayes won't be in office to see the comeback. He's retiring soon. And we have another lady coming up that's going to take over for me. At some point, are you going to be the town president or whatever they call it? Uh, the uh, general manager. That's right. The little girl who used to work at the restaurant under the thermometer is taking over the town. <laughs> who grows up thinking, you know, they're going to be the next town manager, but but it is what it is, so we'll see what happens. Diana Romo will oversee the return of a must-do roadside photo op for everyone. I'm from Colombia. Peru. And Mexico. <laughs> no matter where you're from, in Baker, California, Dave Malkoff, the Weather Channel. That's a cool shot. I wonder how long they stuck around to get the sun right at the top of the thermometer. Very nice. And to be the, the reader of the thermometer, you got to get up there when it gets hot. Very prestigious job. <laughs> uh, coming up next, we go not to the heat, but the cold. Tom Nizzle talks about our next winter storm, which is set to kick off tonight. Experience the Weather Channel's new original series that takes you to the farthest reaches of space to witness weather worlds apart. Deadliest space weather. Thursdays at 9 on the Weather Channel. And now your local on the 8s.